Okay, there's the low beams. Wow, and there's the high beams. Okay, this is my first time riding the K1600 GTL at night. It's about 55 degrees, so I'm going to turn on the uh, hand warmers, see how they work. I must say I'm kind of surprised that the controls on the handlebars are not backlit. Now I get to try to remember where everything is at. That would be nice if they had some backlights on them. I will say one of the things I noticed is uh, even on dim, the headlights are uh, pretty darn nice. See right there, I don't remember where the uh, turn signal switch was. Well, now I found it. Because, you know, on these bikes like this, there is a lot of stuff going on on the handlebar controls. So, yeah, it'd be nice to be able to see them. And these hand grips are already getting warm. Probably going to have to dial those back pretty soon. The gloves I'm wearing are pretty thin. There's the turn signal. video on YouTube a few days ago I think it was the GT the guy was saying that uh, it didn't have self-canceling turn signals now maybe it doesn't but this GTL does it just that it takes them so long it runs about from the time you turn a corner until the turn signals go off turn back off it's about 15 seconds whereas my Goldwing um, three or four seconds on the Goldwing so maybe his GT does have self-canceling. He just didn't let him go long enough. It's almost like BMW looked at it, looked at that like it was a... They put that self-canceling turn signals on just in case you forget to shut them off manually. Maybe that's why it takes so long for them to self-cancel. I don't know. I just know it takes them a while. All right, I'm dialing back the uh, going to dial back these uh, grip heaters. I had it all the way on five, which is the maximum. I take it down to two because they're getting warm. Now this has seat heater too. I can turn it on, but it won't do any good because I have it unhooked from the seat because I've been messing around with different seat pads trying to make the seat more comfortable and I just haven't plugged the seat heaters back in. I get somewhere up here where I can, there's no oncoming traffic, I'm going to check out the high beams. And even though I got to say, these low beams, I don't know that you'd ever need high. I mean, I don't know how well you guys can see this. Okay, I'm going to turn the highs on as soon as I get this car around me. Oh my. Now this has, uh, I believe the guy I bought it from told me he did convert it, the high beam, to LED. Man, that's bright. Like I said though, the dim's probably going to always be bright enough for me. You know on back country roads though, it's nice having the bright lights so in case a deer or something runs out in front of you, you can see it plenty ahead. Ahead of time. Okay, I've got these hand warmers on two, I'm dialing them back to one. I've got just, uh, like I said, it's about 55 degrees or so. I've got uh, my Harley jacket on, but it's not my heavy one. It's it's a lighter one, 
and uh, my arms are getting cool and my back a little front is fine I mean I watch a lot of videos on uh, motorcycle reviews and you don't see many at night uh, guys doing reviews at night so I thought I'd do that on this one and when I go on long on long touring rides I do a lot of night riding you know if I'm in a hurry to get somewhere and don't care about the scenery I'll ride at night a lot I like looking at the sky and the traffic's a lot less and you know you get out west in Montana and places like that it's nighttime it's just beautiful out there with the open spaces it's pitch black except for the stars I'm gonna go up here another uh, couple of miles and then I'm going to take the back roads back home so I can use that bright light more you know go back through farm country now this seat it's the standard seat if you guys have been watching my channel you know I've been trying to figure out a way to make it more comfortable other than spending 700 plus dollars so far I've tried the Airhawk and the butt buffer neither one of them did any good at all on this seat so the chief way is not a go obviously if I were for sure going to keep this bike the first thing I'd do is put a larger windshield on it this is a stock windshield you know so when it gets cool you know that'll extend my riding season anyway so far what I was going to say about the seat is so far I don't need the heater self-canceling turn signal about 14 15 seconds for it to cancel that's all right the winds out of the north I'm traveling east at about 50 miles per hour the winds out of the north from at about maybe 10 or 15 mile an hour and I can feel it hitting me on the left side things like that you don't notice when you're riding in the daytime when it's warm you don't notice it as much but I can feel that blast of cold air on my left side I'm not dressed for it I'm not even dressed for 55 degrees but and I knew that when I left home but I knew, <clears throat> knew I wasn't gonna be gone very long maybe a half hour I don't know if you guys can see this I, I mean I know you can tell some difference but dims and bright and I mean that's bright that adaptive headlight is quick to respond I don't know if you guys can see that when I accelerate of course it makes the front of the bike go up and that headlight it takes about a second for it to not even that let's try it again here see that you can see the beam go up and then an instant after that it goes back down and then when you let off same deal it goes down and then an instant later back up that's pretty cool and I'll bet that's expensive when that decides to something to go bad Wow that bright is bright I mean the stop signs and everything almost blind you shining back at you on a touring machine it just doesn't get any better than that could I want more horsepower well I always want more horsepower I mean these are rated at 160 yeah 180 would be cool you know but 160 is very manageable part of what 
what's neat about this Beamer 6 is with the stock exhaust it's just quiet enough that you can hear the intake sing sucking in air guy on my right has absolutely no lights on the rear of his, what is that, a Jeep? I wonder if he knows that. But yeah, nothing on the rear. Or she has nothing on the rear. I wonder if I should try to tell her. You have no lights on the back. You have no lights on the back at all. Your brake lights work, but that's it. She may have already known it, but her brake lights work, but nothing else. That's not good. Okay, I'm turning the hand grips up. It's down to like 52 degrees. Now I'm turning the hand grips up to number two. That should be about right. My seat is still not cool though, but this seat is on a hot, warm day, this seat gets hot, so I'm not surprised by that. I don't know if it gets heat from the engine radiating up or what, but it's warm most of the time. There they go. No lights on the back of that thing. Wow, that bright light is amazing. That's probably what the people in front of me think. See what I mean by those stop signs and everything shoots it right back at you? Right there and the handling is what makes this bike a blast to ride. Night riding is fun on this bike. If only it had backlit controls on the handlebars, because there's a lot of controls on these handlebars. But as I ride it more, you know, I'll get more used to where they're at. 